Wednesday, September 20th. It's pretty warm today, but it's been in the 60s at night for a couple days, and uh, we uh, we've been hunting a good bit, chasing some bucks actually. Um, seen them a few times, just haven't been able to seal the deal. But I'm gonna, I'm right here by the house. I'm gonna try to shoot a doe today, put some meat in the freezer, and go ahead and see if I can knock one off with the phase four. But um, that's the plan. We uh, 25, 30 foot up in a big gum tree here in the saddle. Uh, hopefully a big fatty comes in. Fingers crossed. Right back again with another afternoon sit. Um, it's gonna be like a meat sit this afternoon again. I look for a doe or a, a nice buck comes in before a doe, then maybe I'll get lucky. But sat here last night, didn't see anything. A couple coons, but uh, other than that, the plan is to shoot a, a doe this afternoon. Go ahead and get some meat in the freezer. But other than that northeast wind very slight so other than that just waiting on a big slick to come in fingers crossed as always my finger fingers crossed has not been working so I'm gonna quit doing that I believe that's one for the phase four. Just a little bit right. I don't know why it was right, but should have took out the lungs. And that deer came in at like 5.45. And I didn't want to shoot that early because I didn't want to be cleaning a deer in the heat of the afternoon. But anyway, that's uh some meat for the freezer. Thank you, Lord. All right, we just hit the ground. This light is super bright on the camera. I'll go over here, and I'm pretty sure this dang deer broke my arrow when she took off. So, she cost me at least $20 already. Go here and see if we can find it. Mosquitoes are chomping. So, uh, I let my bow down and a little small buck came in for a minute so I had to hang out and kind of let him feed off. But
there it is there's the uh one side of it she was quartered to a little bit so came out in the gut i don't know where the other half's got to be buried right in the ground there's another piece of it and these are these ain't no cheap arrows neither and they're not light at all as far as weight they can handle some weight but they can't handle a deer's legs hitting it whenever they take off running. But we will find some blood and I'll uh, pick you back up. Kind of hard to see blood with a headlight shining in your eye. But I actually walked a little ways, a couple 20 30 yards, and actually saw a deer laying over here. Found a good robe in here, too. Doe might have looked like she shrunk a little bit. She's probably 60, 60 pounds, I'd say. Perfect meat size, so hit her a little look back at the footage, hit her a little high and a little back, but she didn't run far at all. Mosquitoes are horrible in here. Something got up over there. There she is, right here. She's, uh, I'd say, I'd say about 50 pounds. <laughs> Perfect meat size, though. Um, it definitely went a lot higher than what I wanted it to, but it was so high in the tree and see show cooked. Yeah so close well that's number one for the year wish you could have been a little bit bigger but that's perfect meat size um, other than that uh, thank you guys for watching finally got one on the ground I'm sorry I haven't been putting out videos like I should have but trust me I'm, I've, I've been hunting a lot and I've been videoing a lot and if I kill one of these bucks I got some super good footage uh, over the last couple hunts to, to put in that but uh anyway thank you guys once again for watching phase four is i officially killed one and catch you guys on the next one peace <laughs>